Our postgraduate students have been contacting Triple J this week to express their disappointment at the federal government's changes to youth allowance. This has been a long-running problem for many students. Indeed, on Wednesday, the government announced wide-ranging reforms to tertiary student support. For more, Tom Tilly joins us from Triple J's Hack Program as part of our weekly look on the big issues for young Australians. Tom, good morning again. Just how concerned are these postgrad students about the, the winding back of assistance? We had one guy write us an email saying he was really frustrated because he'd actually planned to change universities and step up to full time next year, which is in you know three and a, three and a half months' time. So he said, I pulled out the paper this morning to see the government's changes and it's basically completely disrupted my entire plan for next year. So there was a lot of frustration there. And there's more than 10,000 people in this category of doing master's coursework uh, courses uh, that will be affected by this change. And how has the government responded to these concerns? Well, I put that to a Labor senator yesterday and she said, look, we acknowledge that that's difficult for those students, but we've helped out so many other students with our reforms. So that's the price we have to pay. Now, another issue uh, attracting uh, the interest of some of your listeners this week uh, is uh, I've only got the topic here and I'm very interested to get your explanation of it. What does friends with benefits mean? <laughs> Well, basically, uh, there's a, a new study from Deakin University, a doctoral study that interviewed over 700 people, average age 24, looking at the very definitions of all these different casual sexual relationships. So they looked at uh, one-off kind of encounters, which they termed one-night stands or hookups, and then they looked at ongoing casual relationships, and they broke those into two categories, sex buddies and friends with benefits. And the name does kind of say it all. Sex buddies, it's really just about the sex and friends with benefits, the friendship is paramount and often outlasts the benefit part of that relationship. And a lot of people say that this is usually uh, a scenario that kind of just benefits men, but the research actually showed that men and women had the same satisfaction ratios with these kinds of relationships. And it actually showed 70% of people were satisfied with this kind of relationship. Right, so benefits, uh, we're talking just uh, deep connections. <laughs> Sex. So go right. Well, yeah, basically that's the difference there. And, um, but it does, like you're saying, the deeper connection is there because there's a friendship, there's a level of int intimacy and understanding that they might not get in a sex buddy relationship. And for a lot of people it works and they will move in and out of these kind of relationships in between more committed relationships. So they kind of basically have this common understanding that it's not something that's gonna last forever, but it kind of works for them for now. And Tom, finally, before you go, hip hop homophobia has been another hot topic this week. Uh, an artist called The Tongue has actually written a song called Never Scared, addressing the issue of homophobia in the hip hop culture. And it's a very masculine culture. If you ever go to a hip hop gig, you know, it's very dude heavy, lots of guys on the dance floor kind of really getting into it. And it's quite a sort of a, a strong masculine sort of culture. And for a lot of like young gay and bisexual people, they feel very uncomfortable in that environment. And we spoke to a young 20 year old uh, bisexual guy called Dave this week who said, look, I love hip hop, but I feel quite uncomfortable at these gigs. And so we we're talking about that on the show and we found this artist, The Tongue, who'd written this great song and he's got this great line in the song that is, don't be at home with your phobias, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but we, we got a good response from it. People saying, you know what, this is really interesting that you bring this up because I'm a gay guy and I go to gigs with my partner, but we would never show affection to each other in that environment. And then other people wrote in saying, look, don't tar all hip hop, hand, um, hip -hop fans with the same brush. And another person said, good hip hop is good hip hop. It doesn't necessarily need to explore all these issues and progress social issues. Right, uh, with that uh, very comprehensive wrap, uh, I feel like the need for cold shower actually after all of that, Tom. Tom <laughs> Tilly from Triple J's Hack Program, thank you very much. Bye, Michael.